You may already have had the email through from Spotify, but they are hiking prices Again, this is the second time in less than a year that the plans have gone up in price. And if you're on the duo or family plan, it's the third time in three years that we've had an increase. So it's getting more and more expensive for the streaming service to use this for your music. I'll take you through those increases here, exactly how much more you'll be paying, when you'll be paying it, but also a couple of ways you might be able to reduce your spend, some hacks to bring down that price. I'm not sure how long one of these in particular is going to last. So if you are eligible for it, if you want to go for it, be a good time to go. So first of all, what's happening? When is it happening? Well, if you're a new customer signing up for the first time or changing your plan, then you'll be paying these new prices immediately as of uh, the 9th of April, 2024. And this is what you will be paying. So if you're on premium, this is for one user at any time for no adverts, you know, to download all the features you get with this plan. It's going up from 10.99 to 11.99. It's a one pound extra every single month, 12 pounds a year, or remember, Last July, the increase that happened was also for a pound. So you're paying two pounds more, 24 pounds a year more than you would have been uh, this time last year. To be fair to Spotify, there were no increases at all before that for the entire time. So it stayed at 9.99 for a long time. But again, that's quite a hefty increase, 9.1%. Then there is two quid being added to both the duo and the family plan. Duo, as the name suggests, is for two people at once. Effectively, it's two premium plans. You get your own account but it's covered by a single uh, lead user, so to speak, and you pay that little bit less. It's going up from $14.99 to $16.99. Uh, that's a, even higher, the highest increase a lot as a percentage, 13.3% increase. Again, that one went up uh, a few times already, say three increases in the space of three years. So that used to be uh, 11, no, $11.99, I think it was, $12.99. It used to be $12.99, went up to uh, $14.99, up to $16.99 now. So a big, big increase over that time and family that one's going up from $17.99 to $19.99 a month extra two quid and that's just over 11 percent increase this one can have up to six people using it at any time so again still both duo and family will come back to this in a minute potentially cheaper than premium if you're using them but overall more coming out of your bank account every single month which is not fantastic not great uh, when is this going to happen that's the important thing we'll say if you said if you're a new customer or changing your plan it's already happened but if you're on one of these and you don't change your plan, you're going to get another month at those older prices. So uh, let's say you uh, are due to renew on the 1st of May, right? That's the next time your payment comes out of your account. That will be at the old price. But the month after that, the 1st of June, for example, then it will be the new prices. So you've got at least one more month at the old price. Now, if you've just renewed before the 9th of April, well, then you're going to be quite lucky because you're still going to get uh, this to happen as well. So let's say you renewed on the 5th of April, then you've got renewed on the 5th of May at the old price. It won't be until the 5th of June that you pay the new price. So you potentially got uh, up to well, late May or uh, sort of mid-May to early June is when you're going to be paying these extra prices. And then that's it going on until the next increase. And could there be another one another year? You never know. So what can you do about this? Well, I mentioned before, and this is the one that I think most of you hopefully will know about, but it's worth considering, is that move from, uh, if you're in your household, with more than one of you playing for the premium, absolutely do look at duo and family. You're effectively paying, so $16.99 uh, for duo, that's £8.50 each. That's obviously less than $11.99 if you're both paying for one individually, and you get pretty much all the same perks as you would by having your own separate account. You can keep your old login as well. It's not like you have to get a new account. You can keep all your old playlists and things like that as well. The only possibility here, and this may have changed, is that when late last autumn, Spotify introduced audiobooks, that was only for the lead account person. So the second person on Duo wouldn't get those audiobooks. That's something to consider. I'm not 100% sure if that's been updated yet, but it certainly was the case even just a few months ago. So much bit of a saving there uh, based on the current price and on the new price of premium, even with that increase to Duo. For family, $19.99, again, even if there were just two of you using it, there's no reason why you'd have two of you using it because Duo would be, working, would be better, but you're still going to be saving money versus premium. Obviously, the more people you add, up to six people in total, including the lead account person, really, really can bring the price down. So if there's three of you, that's what, £6.66 per person. If there's six of you on there, that's £3.33. So really, really, really cheap. Now, what you have to be careful here is not getting into the trap of just adding people on, other people, because you can, because you're the one paying it. So unless they are literally in your household and technically with both duo and family you should be living at the same address but uh, unless they're you're actually you know you don't mind paying for them because they're your kids 
if they're mates and stuff, you know, you're paying this extra £24 a year for them to have access. If they aren't giving you any money towards it or maybe giving you access to another streaming service in return, then maybe have that conversation because it might be that it might be better off just dropping down from family to duo if there really is just two of you who take advantage of it or even going all the way down just to a single premium if everybody else, they're not in your household, they're just mates, no one's contributing, then maybe they should be getting their own ones. That's probably the best way to bring down the price if you can, if there's more than one of you. But what if there's just you on your own? Well, there is a hack. And this is something which I'm surprised is still around now. I thought this was going to disappear when the price hike happened last July, but it is still going, still going today, could go, could change at any time. But I think we might have a short amount of time to do this, but it's certainly worth uh, having a look at this. And this is only for people on the premium plan. It will not work for duo, family or students. And this is to buy an annual Spotify gift card. Now, these were, back before last year's increase, £99, which basically meant you'd pay for 12 months up front, but it only cost you for 10 months. That's when it was £9.99 a month. Now, I expected that to change, but it hasn't. The price has remained at £99 for a year. So up until this week, that meant you got three months for free. So you're saving yourself 25%, which again, really good uh, option. But now this will still count at this new increased prices. So you're looking at roughly a 30% discount. You're basically getting a year, but you're paying the equivalent of eight and a week, eight months and a week, roughly. So that is a really hefty, nice chunky discount that you'll be getting uh, compared to just paying month after month after month after month. Now, what you've got to remember here as well, though, is that you will be locked in for a year. One of the beauties of just having a month by month subscription with premium, duo, family, whatever it might be, is if you want to take a break, you want to pause it, you can do that. With these gift cards, it's there for a year. The credit is applied to the account and that doesn't matter if you want to don't use it, you're still going to be using it. You can't pause it. Um, and the other thing here as well is I'm pretty sure you don't get audio books if you're paying via a gift card. Again, it might be different, but otherwise I think it's, it's well worth considering. You can stack this as well, which is really interesting. Although a gift card, when you get it, has to run out within 12 months. You need to activate it within 12 months. You can um, add one to your card as long as you've got uh, no more than six months of a previous gift card on there. So for example, if you bought two now at this price, so committing yourself to two years of premium, okay, so it does take that flexibility away, it would cost you £200, uh, but you could add one now, and then in six months time, you could add on the next one, which will give you 18 months of credit on your account locked in at this lower price, and it protect you again against any potential increase we might get in another year. And if this deal is still running and it's available later on, you could buy another one of these and add it on again. But again, you can have no more than 18 months of credit applied to your account at any time. Now, interestingly, when you look at this, it's a little bit cheaper actually to do this in terms of the cost per month than going for duo. So two of you could go down this approach of getting two gift cards. And again, that would protect you for a year, potentially a year and a half at those lower prices in case other hikes came along. But I would be more tempted to go with duo because you're paying what an extra quid more than that over a year maybe two quid over the entire year not per month over the entire year and you have that flexibility to change your plan or cancel at any time but it's certainly something to consider now if you want more information about the changes and those deals do head over to becleverwithyourcash.com my name is andy webb thanks for watching check out these videos here for more ways to save money on streaming